BJ, a bit of a recovery day today, but uh, boys been working hard. How are you feeling? Uh, a bit sore, a bit tired, but uh, definitely needed this recovery day. Uh, boys are doing well. It's been a tough camp so far. You missed uh, last year, of course, with the injury, but uh, good to be back. Awesome to be back around the fellas and just get the Tall Blacks vibe around me again. It's, it's awesome to be back. And uh, everything gunning towards Manila, right? Everything, everything. Uh, Gav's helping me out a lot, just trying to get me in tip top to get to the games and stuff like that. And the boys are pushing me real hard, so yeah, just looking forward to it. Good stuff, mate. Keep working. Thank you. BJ Anthony, BJ, did you think you'd be back here as a part of this group? Honestly, not really. Um, I knew that I had to had to really prove myself in this NBL season and wasn't sure if I did enough, but uh, a little luck went my way and got in there. How important is it to you that you are back and a part of this tall black group? Uh, I think I think at younger ages, I think you kind of take it for granted. Well, I, I kind of took it for granted a little earlier and then after after sitting out and watching the boys for a couple of years and then seeing everybody and the youngins come through and get a lot better and you know so it kind of gives you a little kick up the bum and just tells you that this is a privilege you know so definitely. The Achilles injury last year uh, threatened to derail your, your career is, is that in the past now or is that something that's still with you? Uh, it's still with me a little bit to be honest um, but it's in the past also. Uh, I think that at the time I felt like it wasn't that serious, but then a year later I'm still trying to get back from it and now it's clicking to me that, that it was actually a big deal when I first did it. And I was playing so well at the, at the time of the injury, it's, it's still, I'm still trying to get back to that, that level. Is this a good environment for you then? I mean, you're training day in, day out, and you're living, you're breathing basketball. Is this the best thing for BJ Anthony? Definitely, definitely. Um, I haven't played at this level in a long time. And guys like, I was just thinking today, like guys like Isaac Foto, and he's coming from, he's coming from a big league over there in Spain, and he's playing real good basketball right now. Ty Webster, he's playing at a good level, at a real high level right now, so it's gave me a little kick up the bum again. And all the breaker boys as well, you know, I've, I've known them for years and just the level, and then coming from the NBA, NBL, the level is just so much different to where they they were playing at as well, so it made, me, it made me pick up my game and I feel like I'm getting better for it. What sits behind BJ Anthony. We know about the rebounds, we know about the scoring, we know about the talk on court, but uh, five weeks away can be pretty tough. Um, how tough is it to leave family at home? It's probably the hardest thing for me. If anybody knows me, they know that I'm, I just got a big heart and I love, I love, if I love someone, then it's big love, you know, so, so yeah, it's, that's definitely the hardest thing, just leaving family and leaving my boy and yeah, um, Skype, Skype, FaceTime does does the trick, but it's, you know, nothing like a cuddle. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And uh, dreams of Rio, have, have you had them? That's what this is all about. What would it mean for you to wear the black singlet at the Olympic Games? Everything, everything. It's, uh, it's always been a goal. I remember in school just writing down, they were like, what do you want to do when you grow up? And it was one of those, I want to go to the Olympics type deals. And, I still remember that to this day, and it would be awesome to put on that black singlet out there. Well, good luck, DJ. Yeah, thank you very much.